Suck off the rhythm, the realness, the realness. The realness. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're live. We're here. It's another beautiful day. Yes, it most certainly is. Great day today. Uh, most people have today's off. It is obviously uh, today's President's Day. Uh, federal holiday, if I'm not mistaken. National federal holiday. So, uh, what does President's Day mean to you? Uh, as what, a kid, what they, it what, meant what they usually. Tell us that it meant? I didn't pay attention when they were explaining what President's Day meant because there were three. Usually, when we, when we were in school, uh, President's Day was observed, but we also got um, we got Lincoln's birthday and wasn't it Washington's birthday or like in, in the same time? Yeah. We used to get those days off too, and then they like just condensed it down into uh, they just condensed it down into um into President's Day. Uh, but really, going to school as a kid, man, for me, it just always meant. Usually, you know, maybe when recess was going on and we had a week or a week and a half off from school and it was time not to be in school, man. Uh, and if we knocked out that homework packet early, which we never really did if we did do it. Um, <laughs> Damn, you remember the homework packets? Yeah, man, you know, it's good. I only so remember it and, and I'll explain why in a second. In uh, they were the worst, man, but I was explaining to someone young in school yesterday, you know, to do the right thing and not, you know, be like me and not do it or wait till the last minute to do it. You know, take that early day before the week starts. Get it out of the way on the first weekend. So then, you know, you have the whole week, even your last day of vacation to enjoy. And you're not being yelled at to get it done. So, you know, you get in trouble. But even though you had two book reports and a couple of other packages. Yeah, but this was long before cell phones. So Before cell phones, we, before Google. Like, when we had to actually open books, man. Now we had to, call, we had to call each other's houses the night before to see who did the actual packets. Yeah. So we could copy from it in the like, morning. Like, yo, who, yo, you did it? Or, or try to, like, hit, like, actually go to school early for uh, for breakfast. Like, not eat breakfast at home. Like, yo, try to hit somebody in the lunchroom. Like, yo, yo you finished that package. <laughs> Well, uh, let, me, let, me, let me just see it. Let me just let me just take a look at it real fast, man. Uh, uh, I I pray to God every day that we never have to do one of those again. Nah, I hope not, man. Like like, like like there should be no reason for us to get a homework packet yeah, again. They, they, they did shit like that in life. real estate school when we went to real estate school. Not nah, homework know. packets. We had it's pretty not, similar. Not even homework. Like did we have homework? Like, just, just the fact that I had to read a book. Was just I didn't even off. like read the book before class. Like it was like, hey, what chapter is it in class today? Like okay, read in class, man. Have the questions at the end, answer them. Like, oh, got them all right? Cool. We out of here? Nope. Got another class at the end of this. Going to wait here for an hour and a half instead of disappear. What did you do this weekend? Um, This weekend was uh my last day at work uh, at my current job. Um, This Saturday I had to work. And I spent uh yesterday evening, you know, hanging out with some friends. And on my way home, I didn't come home Saturday night. I hung out with some uh, friends from work. And, uh, you know, just uh had some fun. Had a couple drinks, laughed. Uh. You know, because of where I was working the location, and obviously now what we have doing this daily, uh, every morning, um, some of our, you know, misadventures we would have, uh, you know, the weird, hey, what are you doing at 1 a.m. calls, like nothing, and end up, you know, out of town for a couple of days. Uh, you know, obviously don't have the freedom to do that anymore, but something, you know, you know, great is happening. And... um. I told you I saw Black Panther this week. Yes, right? you told me you saw Black Panther. A lot of people saw Black Panther this week. What did you? You said your brother. Was my brother. About my it. brother went to see it with uh, with my nephew and my dad on Friday afternoon. And uh, my brother texted me right after he got off it, like uh, right after he left the theater. And he told me he's like, "Yo, yo, I saw the like, pictures. I gotta too. see it again. I gotta see. I gotta see it again." He's like, "Yo, I need to see this movie again." Um, for me, the only thing with me, man, I want to see it, but I want to catch up. In the Marvel, like the the Marvel timeline beforehand, I haven't really stayed on the Marvel timeline since like the first Avengers, so I am like t like almost two whole cycles of movies behind, because they did like Age of Ultron, they did like all the other ones, like they're coming, like the new Avengers is coming up soon, and like I'm almost I'm, I'm behind on it. So the only thing I didn't like was if, I mean there was a few things that I could point out, but I think the amount of time it was like a two two hour plus movie like. And just sitting in the front row made it excruciating to watch. I mean, me, man, I like to go see movies, man, but I don't really like to go uh, sit all the way premiere, the premiere front weekend, row? even the second weekend, man. Like, and give me, give that, it to I me did, a little later. Because you know? remember, I posted the thing with the Simpsons and then. Uh, yeah. So I'm keeping my eyes open and I'm trying to enjoy the movie, but I keep seeing dark shadows even in 
with no light. You just see figures moving uh, around. Man. Then somebody kept kicking my fucking chair. It was. Just it like would get annoying, man. I don't. I, I try not to go premiere weekend, man. Uh, man it was I a kid. It was a kid that was kicking my chair. So I there were gonna be a lot of kids in the theater, man. Um. Uh, my only real beef with Black Panther, I will say, uh, and it's not even really a beef, but I get what some people on social media are bickering about. Um, you, know, you have a lot of people getting, you know, kids excited over a fictional character. And I get the sim- I, I get it all, like a, a 90, 95% black cast, black director, almost everyone working on it. Um, but then people are pointing out things, but there are a lot of, you know, that kids don't know. Some inventors, people that kids don't know that are black, that kids should know. And I, I get why people have a problem with that, but all in all, you know, it is supposed to be a positive image. Um, from what I've gotten, from what I've heard, image. it's a, it great, a great movie. Like, there's a lot to take away from it. The um, premise was great. I understand why people on social media like have that, and that was one of the things I said. Like, you have people really excited for. I mean, it's a, it's a fictional character, and people are really excited. I get why people are so excited. It's a big thing, but it's uh. It's just strange to me that that other movie that came out about um, that it was just in theaters that people were saying that the theaters were birth of a nation. That turn if that's a, a more realistic portrait of history and something for for people to look at and and digest and really do their own research about, then when you see how the theaters handle it, it shows that you know even though Black Panther is Black Panther and it has this this demographic to cater to at the same time it's also controlled by the same people who didn't allow you to see the last one yes who uh you know when ticket sales were getting jumbled you know people were being sent to other theaters being sold other tickets to other movies people were saying on you know online the like crazy things happening man and then you even had people it was crazy there were people reports on friday like like national news was covering it there were people on social media saying that they were attacked by groups that, you know by black people, like 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 racial attacks. I saw that during uh, Black Panther. Like fake, it's insane. Fake news. Fake like, <laughs> like 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 people and like people like no national news is running. Like oh these people are all being exposed. Like this is. But I'm reading this and I'm seeing like yo this is nuts man. Like this is crazy. Like people are really doing this because this movie like it's 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 it's, 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 it's more for the audience than it is for the movie. All the world's a stage. You know as soon as something like this happens where you get a craze of an entire nation really just kind of and they were showing up in african garments yeah man people i saw I, I saw people uh it, it was funny man saturday at work uh this is late like with the snow with the weather there weren't many people out actually the snow was so bad and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second but the snow was so bad uh we lost satellites in the entire building like for tv for everything you like, can see the dunk contest three-point contest nothing um i was pissed this was, that was one of the reasons. uh yeah and everything knocked out, bro, from like nine till we closed. Just all we had was a direct TV logo bouncing around. That was the reason I was on radio being a dick all night. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what are you going to do to me now? Huh? So, uh, that was your last day. You yeah, that, that, that was a big reason for it. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? Huh? Um, I am going to miss you guys, though. So, you know, not total disrespect. You know, tonight we have Bud and Rose show as well. Yes, clearly. I know that, man. Monday night, man. So, uh, you know, double d- double duty Mondays, man. Double. It's like a double header. A guaranteed Monday double header. Get a little Mondays break in between. are always exhausting. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to see that. It was exhausting just to set up the show for a Monday night. But to, to do this every day, it does get exhausting, bro. I, I crashed mean, this weekend. No, nah, I, I, I want to say I, I crashed. I had so many plans, so many things that I had to do. And as soon as I found the bed and I realized I didn't have to get up, I didn't. Because you don't know how to do things in moderation. We discussed this thing, man. Like I'm an extremist, have bro. have to slow down. Like, I mean, I don't know, man. I think the, dis- the, the discovery of uh, caffeine this week, um, while I haven't, I haven't had any sense, uh, I actually know one of my friends uh, asked me to try her uh, iced coffee she made. I had, a si- I had a small sip, a very small sip of iced coffee Saturday, but that was it. Um, aside from that, man, like, uh, you know, I wouldn't call that gave me a caffeine boost. Anything. I haven't had anything, any caffeine since... Uh, it's Monday. I mean, Monday since Friday until my last, you know, caffeinated beverage on air. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd like a, uh, what you want today? Switching um, it up again? Yeah, I'm switching it up again, man, uh, but I don't know, so, I mean. Uh, yeah, I want my typical uh, cappuccino, please. And I'll be your. Uh, Two sugars. Whatever you think would be a good suggestion for someone still in their uh, infancy of uh, <laughs> caffeinated hot beverages. How about mocha? Cool. Mocha sounds good. Mocha works for me. You, 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 you're becoming a coffee drinker, bro. 
I, I never thought I'd see the day. No, nah, I, I want to consider a coffee drinker. I consider a coffee a, ca- a caffeine consumer. A coffee uh, enthusiast? Not even enthusiast. Baby. It was that. W- it was the first drink that had you wired for like twelve hours. For twelve hours, bro. Even everything. Friday had me wired, man. I was like, yeah, like I'm th- everything. I had nothing left to do. Like, take a quick nap. Just couldn't happen. I didn't take a nap until I went to bed at two a.m. <laughs> God damn. We got to get some gaming going. I was actually thinking about um. Because I was look, remembering how this place is. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know, we have cameras pointed at the ceiling. But we put up the vote letters. Yes. And that was a major fucking accomplishment, bro. Vote. Because that shit was not easy. I think even with uh, what's going on now, man, I think uh, even more so. I, we spoke about it a little bit last week, but I think with what happened this past week. Uh, um, what happened this past week in Florida and what's obviously going on right now. Voting is going to be more important than ever for people uh, in this nation, man. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of young kids right now who want gun reform, if you haven't seen it, man. I didn't see the speech, man. You know my thing, my, my rule on things when they go viral. If I don't see them before they go viral or hear something before it goes viral, I'm not going to watch it for about two or three weeks. Yeah. Just to let every like the hot, everything around it, the air, the hot air around it, like just, just, just get away and be able to, you know, look at it and uh, take it in. But uh, I don't know yet, uh, you know, but it seems like uh oh yeah, yeah there we got it. It's a nice Look shot. Look at that fucking shot right that there. Is a nice shot shit. right there. The V O T E. You know that's just actually pretty fucking heavy, bro. Yeah, man. It was yeah. heavy. Those are. I huh? could I could feel the weight of uh, all the wood that we chopped. Uh, I would think, man, between you know the wood we chopped, the wood letters, and then on those panels. So uh, it was a successful day, though. Yeah, man. I'm pissed off that we missed the um. Slap the, the slap, slap collective, man. Yes. Uh, very I wanted, mad. I wanted to come, bro. I, I, I thought just, you were I, here. I was going to ask you how it was. I, you told me you know, you crashed I this week. I was going to ask you how it was, man. I just physically couldn't, bro. It was all these uh, happened, videos man. that need to be cut. It's happened, man. We're human. Like if people really took notice to the change in the intro to um, this morning, you know, we finally publicly announcing the Reverb Nation sponsorship for, for Good Morning Bushwick. So... I don't know if you guys are watching on Twitch, if you guys are watching on Facebook, if you guys are watching on buttonroach.com. On, uh, on First Live US. First Live US. On Good Morning Bushwick. Uh, we have uh, goodmorningbushwick.com, which is also uh, hotnewmusicvideos.com. So this is where uh, artists from all over the world get to submit through Reverb Nation as an opportunity to be featured on this show. So a lot of the uh, videos that we have on this website were selected directly through Reverb Nation. And then you can also go on the website and submit. It won't guarantee you placement on the show, but it will definitely get you on the site if the video is good. Are we, we bringing up the, uh, the oh, I thought you were going to show the, the, the little coffee something. gadget that he be using. Huh. I'll, I'd like to get a shot of him making the cappuccinos if, whenever he jumps behind there. But um, I want to switch. Can we get a, a shot of the website right now? Yeah. Just so you guys can see. Let's just uh, show the people. This is where the live stream comes in every single day. If you guys click on the playlist, you'll get all the episodes of Good Morning Bushwick. In a drop-down menu, these are the, p- the previous five. That they'll pop up. Of course, you got the trailers. These videos right here are where you go and submit on the website. So it obviously says site submitted. Submit your videos on hotnewmusicvideos.com. New music videos posted daily. So these are artists that were previously featured on broadcasts that we've had. You know, they've been with us for a long time, ever since we started Bud and Roach in 2012. And now, if you scroll down, if you guys hashtag H&MV, obviously you'll get on the the website. So just hashtag all of your uh, videos, your photos on Instagram to be featured on goodmorningbushwick.com and hotinthemusicvideos.com. And here are the official Reverb Nation selections. So a lot of these artists were featured in previous episodes of H&MV before the, um, the absorption happened here at um, First Live. But some of these videos are just so phenomenal. And we already have a new campaign that's uh, it's actually already been rolled out. So we got about 500 uh, to 600 submissions already, and it's only been up for a few days. Shit. So we're going to continually add new videos. But um, I think we, we should play one of these videos, show the people what they're missing. And this is uh this is the states. I'm still here. And we'll be back. Well, good morning, Bushman. What dark the shadows that 
play our songs In your hands, they're cold as ice They break me down They break me down But I'm still here And I'm still here And I'm still here I'm still here We watch your bodies As they fail to the ground and our hearts were good as lost We will be found We will be found Cause I'm still here And I'm still here And I'm still here And I'm still here But I don't want to find sing tales Just teach me to live what I think Shines all we are is broken But tonight I'm still I'm still here And for tonight We are all still there Ladies and gentlemen, that was The States. I'm still here, and of course that's featured on uh, hot new music videos. Mm, GoodMorningBushwick.com. Yes, man. That was some, uh, some good work, man. Um, and I think the thing about that, man, um, I think one of the things that showed in that, uh, before we get into how good it was, uh, how simply shot of a video that was. So just so pe- I, I think people should look. That, it doesn't yeah. have to be an extravagantly, you know, overproduced, you know, you break your back, you know, break your pockets for a budget on a video. And it looked like this gentleman had someone working a, uh, a very, so having some good steady hand work. About four uh, angles, one location. One location. Nice um, lighting. Nice lighting. I like the way, you know, the shadows Very kept nice it. You know, you could barely make it out in the shadows. The way it was all used. Black, you know, was it, was it black and white? We call that black and white? Was that true black and white? I it was think just it was the way the shadows uh, were working. It, it could have just been the shadows. And, you know, it's t- it was tough to talk. I tell it was black and white. The shadows making it look that way. So, um, But it was shot very well, man. It was, uh, you know, simple video. Um, and a great song, man. I tell you, uh, you know, you know my new thing. Uh, I tell you what I see in my head. And on that song, at the end of it, I uh, I could picture, you know, old school uh, end of Scrubs, you know, one of the voiceover monologues from at the end of Zach Braff yeah, or yeah, uh, exactly. the <laughs> end of uh, a Grey's Anatomy episode with the closing monologue. Uh, you know, that was what I saw listening to that song. So, um, you know me, man. If I, I tell you guys, if I can picture something visually in my head while while uh, I was about to say Wiley, while uh, listening to a while listening to a song. Um, I think that shows potential, man. Great potential to the song if you, you if you can make me visualize something in that song. Clearly, what I saw was the end of a uh, television episode. So, you ever seen the Zach Braff movie Garden State? I never watched it through in its entirety. 
That's a, it's a pretty. Sad it's a good and movie. It's a really good. Uh, movie. Everyone's always told me it's a good movie, man. You know, Scrubs is one of my favorite TV shows of ever. Uh, probably way behind Twenty Four, but up there. I've discovered a lot of artists because of Zach Braff. Yeah, man, uh, a lot. Actually, that's the only way. If it wasn't for, uh, I had heard How to Save a Life from the Fray so many times, Thanks. and I couldn't put a finger on the name of the song. I kept hearing it on TV shows over and over, and I kept trying to think of the name of the song to download because I didn't know the name of the band. So I'm just, I'm just, where did I go wrong? How to, I'm just everything, and I didn't think, yo, like if they're saying it, that's How to Save. I didn't think that that was the name of the song. It took me, I would say, about a year, year and a half before that song came on Scrubs. I've been hearing it all over the place before. It was like, thank found you. Found the fray, William Fitzsimmons, uh, Joshua Radin. I found Joshua Radin, Skylar Fisk. These are all artists yeah. that were featured on Scrubs or yeah. some sort of Zach Braff production at some point, and um, they all ended up touring the world. Yeah, there was actually the oh man, it was this one thing that I seen um, William Fitzsimmons play. I don't think they have it anymore. But there was, it, the entire room was like a TV. And you stand in the middle, there's a mic just like this, he's performing. But everyone, I guess, is on their phones or on their computers, and when they clap or when they say something, all, everybody's text is just popping up, and you see hands waving, and you see clapping and all that shit. So he did a digital concert for like a million people that were all on, talking to him on screen. Like, were they in, or was he just... Were, were there any people in the venue? Was he there was nobody in the venue but him. That's crazy. It was literally just strictly digital. That's wild. We that need to bring that back. Something. We need to find what technology that was because that shit was yeah, sick. I think that's simple now at this point. Facebook Live technology. <laughs> people would comment in a video while you're live on there. You, you're paying attention to it. You know, obviously, most people, Facebook video. Yeah, but what they did was they, they separated each comment into a different TV. It was a complete wall of TVs. No, that's every single TV just showed someone else's like comments. And, that's and crazy. That shit was sick. That sounds like a lot of hard work, man. Thank you, Here Danny, you sir. Here you go. Mocha time. Thank you, Danny, sir. Can we can we do a toast like we do in the commercials? Mmm, this coffee's delicious. There we go. Good morning, Bushwick. Smoke is delicious. Goddamn, you guys need to come down to First Live Coffee House, two nineteen Central Avenue, Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York. We do this every day, Monday through Friday, starting Monday at 10 a.m. Monday through Eastern Friday, 10 a.m., Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, I, I'm looking at uh, goodmorningbushwick.com right now, and I got to tell you, some of, these, some of these artists are definitely worth paying attention to, so I think we should play another music video. Let's switch it up to rock. You want to do, like, some, some hard rock? So this is Our Fears, Tell the Truth, and we'll be back with more Good Morning Bushwick. Help get your morning started.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on Good Morning Bushwick, and Shoot. goddamn, take a shot for me, my brother. That was uh, another great video there, man. Um, we pointed out a few things. First, he was shredding lefty. Yeah, man. I, I, I don't see that every day. Picking that up, man. That was that's what I noticed. I had to actually. I'm like, I'm looking. And I look down at my son. Like, like, I don't really play guitar, but I had to look and actually. Is he, is he playing lefty right now? <laughs> and then I had to actually like, how do you get a left-handed guitar? I'm knowing guitar here. They tell you flip it upside down, but I'm pretty sure it's not how it works in real life. Or is it? It, it depends. Like I said, if if it's a cutaway acoustic or an electric, where you have you know the indentation on the bottom so you can reach the top frets. You're gonna have to get a lefty guitar so you can access the top frets, unless both sides are exactly the same. But if you're playing, you know, one of those acoustic guitars that you know it just ends at the same point on both sides, then you just have to flip the strings upside down. So the the skinny string will now be the thick string, and then the the thick string will so be. So you the would string it differently. Just yeah. Okay. Okay. You know. But what he did on that track, bro. That shit was a serious. He killed track. it, man. That was uh, that was another one of those tracks that uh, gave me a you know a mental visual, man. That gave me the feel of, you know, sitting back when we were in high school, like we were playing like Tony Hawk or something, trying to, Facts. just sitting there, trying to one-up each other in a free skate for who could get the the longest score, you know, continuously before your trick ends, manual and grind and doing it all. I don't, I don't think video games get enough credit for breaking records. For breaking records, for breaking artists, man. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think I really, I don't I don't want to sound like an ass, man, but uh, I, I really, uh, I'm All-American Rejects. I only know because of MVP baseball when Swing Swing was uh, for that first one when Triple Play changed Shit. it over. And, uh, you know, they have some songs I love. Um, Remember when uh, Joe Budden was on Madden? On Madden. Um, I was going to say Fall Out Boy, man. I really uh, I can't remember what Fall Out Boy song it was, man. And even other Fall Out Boy songs I'd never heard from those albums. So, you know, back in the day when we didn't get whole albums, we just would download single tracks. Um and hearing them in like uh like car the Carpal Tunnel of Love, like finding out that was a Fall Out Boy song from uh one of the MLB the shows on PlayStation Two, just so many songs, man. Just uh, I don't like that now. You know, certain video games license all the music to one particular artist or or one particular yeah, overseer. producer. Uh, that's been the thing. Like on Two K recently, they uh, get one wag. big market of producers. That Jay Z one year, they had Pharrell, Drake. Uh, I, f I forgot what they had this year, man. Why couldn't they just run a Reverb Nation campaign and select the best artists to feature on a major video game? Like, help an artist break. Don't just, you know, keep working with the same people over and over just to keep it within the circle, keep it within the family. Like, you, you actually say that right now, and I can't, I can't remember what year it was, and I want to say it was last year's NBA 2K. It might have been the year before that. But when uh, Party Next Door's uh, Come and see me for once come and see me i'm like yo why is this in a basketball game like this has <laughs> nothing to do with basketball why am i listening to drake cry on a track right now why am i listening to this while while i'm playing bowlers make me say was that the game that they put him in the crowd that he was a or was that bieber they they, they put they put one of those celebrities in, in the video game i didn't even know that either yeah. one of them in the crowd yeah. i know like sometimes they'll have them like as secret stuff. basketball players uh you know what? It might be him in Toronto because yeah, he yeah. is like the ambassador for um. He w he's like a special ambassador for uh for Toronto for the Toronto Raptors. So it might have been might have been Drake. Um, but yeah, man, I just wasn't quite a hundred percent sure, and I still need an answer as to why uh you know a slow R and B love song ballad was in a basketball game. So um, anyone who wants to answer that for me, if any, or if anyone can figure out or wants to chime in as to why you think that would be in a song like a basketball game, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I was. Wholly confused as to why. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to spill over to tonight. Oh, yeah. Because, of course, we have the Bud and Rose Show, Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So, uh, you know, we still got a lot to talk about. We still got a lot of music videos to play. But we'll be back after uh, this commercial break. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. And we don't know where we're going to take you, brother. But we're here to tell you that we're back. We're going to the stratosphere. We're out of the atmosphere on <laughs> We're going everywhere. We don't know where we're going to start. We're here. We started down here, but we want to take it all the way here. Ooh, we want to yeah. bust through that mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. We can feel the power. The power of the Bun and Roach team, baby. BunandRoach.com. We're here, and we're going straight to the top. Where's oh, the top? We won't know till we get there, baby. Oh. There you go, Chico. Oh. 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 We're coming for you. For your brain. We want it all! I want everything! What we know we're here to do is to do it good! What are you gonna do when we delete you? Yeah, baby! Woo! Ah! Woo! 
course, that's live tonight, 8 p.m. ish. 8 p.m. ish Eastern time. We never just say yeah, 8, never, 8 p.m. Uh, uh, you know, even though we have know, been we pretty know. prompt or close to prompt the last few weeks, a lot closer to 8 than we have been in previous weeks. Um, we still want to tell you guys 8 p.m. ish because, uh, you know, things happen usually our own, you know. Of our own doing. Our own, it's usually our own causing. Our, it's all, uh, the old delays of our own, our own happenstance that we can't stop, but we usually just don't. So we want to tell you guys 8 p.m. ish. You know, be be, be around around 8. Uh, and that's buttonroach.com. Buttonroach.com. Uh, the Button Roach Show tonight, 8 p.m. Mondays, 8 p.m. ish, um, Eastern Standard Time. And get uh, some of the real crazy talks. Uh, we you know we don't want to you know have you guys thinking too much while you're at work. You know, going through your day. So uh, just tune in tonight, and then uh, just think about it later through the week, and then uh, come back to us next Monday. And of course, we 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 have co-hosts in that show. It's not just yes, me sir. And you. It's not just me and you. We have other co-hosts. They're typically, uh, other voices in the studio. Um, so. Even if you don't see their faces, sometimes people off camera. Um, obviously, we have uh, you know other segments. Um, a lot of things we talk. A lot of things we discuss and talk about. So uh, so that's Tri-State Music Group. Tri- that's where we broadcast from. Yes. Tri-State the Union Family. Got Makai Fife, Tri-State Gates, Who Made, made this? this, and of course, Cheese, the social media guru. Yes, sir. Follow him at Cheese's house. That's Cheese with a Z. <laughs> and the S is still there. It's Cheese's house. So, uh, yeah. What are you in the mood for? How, how do you feel? You want, you want some hip-hop? You want some uh, R&B? You got some, uh, give me something to uh, make me feel good, man. You got some feel-good music? Are you, I mean, we feel good about different things. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I, I could watch this video with a bunch of beautiful women doing yoga. It's a little. Uh, what kind of song it's is a little it? R and B, hip hop, almost. What we got here? Let's see what's going on. So this is Lawrence and Madison. Extra. We'll be back after this musical break. <laughs> Me. I always make it do the most for me All I want is a good girl Good girl that low-key be a hoe for me uh, I like it best in the morn I record that like it porn Kissing and licking and eating her uh, It's like take a bite in the arm Excuse me while I wipe my mouth You can scream as loud as you want Nobody gon' hear you inside my house P, P, she's a controller Me, I am a stroke We hit so many positions It's starting to look like it's yoga I get to stroke in this shit, yeah I just might yoke in this shit, yeah I raise my arm and I lift my leg And I hit the folks in that shit like Yeah, 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 yeah Teach me sutra, come ma. We touch, we make love And then we give each other high five I know you see me on the video Girl, they can read all about it But it's not news to no one Cause you always be shouting Girl, you get so loud This kush got me on a cloud We're so high up off the ground Got a penthouse in Manhattan Broke it all down on your back And then I gave that ass a smack And turned you over after that To get slowed and moving fast Girl, I'm gonna take my time Feeling like I'm genuine No more If you're horny Let's do it, my pony, jump on it, jump on it. Beating, 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 freaking, freaking all night long, girl.
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that was a uh, that was a very fine track. Um, great video, by the way, too. Um, <laughs> fantastic video, fant- great video. Um, but again, like uh, another very uh, I might watch. I don't that want to say simplistic later. video, but uh, a very bare bones. Um, if if anything, um, one location, not many shots, uh, not going all over the place. Um couple different shots but they bro- definitely know how to shot. grab attention yes yeah, know how to grab attention it's a very catchy track um it's a track that i could see um very catchy hook that's uh that, that is a hook that i could see being repeated over and over and over and over and over on social media and uh you know just people me me they, like i could just see it over and over just on repeat um track if in the right hands has huge potential i believe you know the great thing about reverb nation is that it allows us to access artists from all over the world but the flip side to that coin is that we can't bring them on the show physically. Yes. So we uh, want to encourage, you know, local artists. Local artists, man. This stage is for you guys. Like. Yes, man. Uh, while we do uh, want to present Bushwick to the world, uh, we want to present, you know, you guys uh, to the world also. Uh, so Bushwick artists, Brooklyn artists, not just music artists, man. Um, actual artists, you know, artwork. Yeah, the cameras uh, pick up anything. Do any so. metal work, you know. Artistry isn't just, you know, Anything can be art, man. You know, I'm not trying to sound like James Franco on This Is The End, but, you know, I, I usually <laughs> tell people that. You know, that's one of the great things he says. You like video games? Well, you like art. And, then, you know, he breaks it down, says the guy make a sandwich at Subway, the whole, your mom, your dad, canvas, bang. Uh, no. James Franco is an artist of uh, many different talents, though. Yes, an artist who's in a bit of trouble, though, right now. When hasn't he been? I mean, this is stuff that Ray Donovan takes care of. You ever seen Ray? I've seen bits and pieces of it, man. Uh, I see my dad watch it. Uh, He told me, like I saw him watching, I was intrigued by what was going on, but I was busy. I was on the way out. Hollywood cleanup man. Yeah. He solves your problems. He changes the story. He sweeps it under the rug. And that's a real profession. Like, that's that's the other people, man. Cleanup guys, man. Um, You know, fixers. Some people call them fixers, cleanup guys, cleanup crews. Real thing I have heard about, um, you know. And I'm pretty sure, man, um, I, it, it'd be tough to get an interview with someone like that, but I'm pretty sure there's someone somewhere who's tried to like have an expose on it and uh, just, you know. Um, but any type of artist, once again, man, like y- you people, I, mean, I don't want to say you people, but everyone knows, man, it, it, there's a very fine spectrum to what to what can be called art. So uh, submit to us, man. Um, Good morning, Bushwick. Good morning, Bushwick. Dot com. Uh, you can also write to us at goodmorningbushwick at, at gmail.com. Yeah, like but goodmorningbushwick at gmail. Let us know a little bit about yourself. Send us a sample of some of your work. And uh, we'll be in contact, man. Um, we do want live artists. We love the interviews, you know, over Skype, on the phone. But we do love in-studio interviews also, man. So uh, any, any writers, bloggers, anyone, feel free to contact us. Uh, goodmorningbushwick.com or goodmorningbushwick at gmail.com. So, uh, you know, reach out. And how can they follow you directly? Uh, they can follow me at Mr. <laughs> underscore Zoe Taylor, man. Uh, that's well, once again, that every show, like Mr. Times. Underscore Zoe Taylor. Uh, it's MR, not Mr. Spelled out. Underscore, you know, Zoe Taylor. But I kept telling you, man, you keep you, you keep you keep messing with me on air about it, man. I'm gonna actually spell it out. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna even spell Mr. Underscore. You know. You're gonna spell out underscore. I'm gonna spell out <laughs> underscore. <laughs> Just to make you all type it out when you when you go looking. Oh shit! Of course, you can follow me at I'm King Roach. You can follow us at Bud and Roach Show. At Bud and Roach Show, man. And uh, you can see with the man, man himself, show. the uh, social media guru, Cheese, of uh, Cheese's house. Does, uh, you know, because he, he's, he's most of social media stuff. You know, when we first uh, did our first broadcast here, which was a couple Saturdays ago, one of the things we mentioned to the public, because that was the first studio audience we had, was that our faces wanted to be on the side of 83rd Precinct. That, uh, you know, there's a spot for a mural for us. And when Danny just approached us and then spoke about the Bushwick artists, I remembered that we had this video on the list. And the person who created this video is actually, his, his face is actually, actually on, on the wall. Yes, on sir. The wall. And he was a big part of the, uh, 
I guess the inception of Bud and Roach because when when we got him on the show, I think that definitely boosted our confidence mm-hmm. within our own neighborhood. Like people saw that this was somebody who was a staple in every uh and when, whenever people would compare us to success, they would say, "Oh, you you got to be like this. Like this guy made it out. Like you can make it out." So because we were heard we heard that for so long and then we finally had a chance to speak to the man and then we developed a, a little relationship with him. You know, it it just seems right to play the the video right now. So even though he he even mentions Bushwick in this video, so this isn't a recent track. This was a is a few years old, but it's definitely still relevant. And I don't I don't think he he deserved. Uh, I don't think he got the credit that he deserved for this track, especially what happened with Prodigy because he was takes, signed to uh, Prodigy. Yeah, man. I, th- I think sometimes people, if you do one thing, they uh you, you see how long unfortunately it took uh for Drake to get taken seriously as yeah. an artist. And a lot of people, because he was an actor, I think a lot of people, uh, when they see, and a lot of people don't know, a lot of people aren't actors first, they're musicians, and then it just happens to, you know, it's part of being an artist. You know, if some people think you're good at it, you might as well give it a shot. And we actually had that conversation with him, you know, on air when we had him on the Button Road show. But he's killing it on the Arrow right now. Uh, you follow him on IG? I don't follow many people on he's IG. He's playing fucking Not superhero so now, so he's he's doing his thing. But uh, this is Rick Gonzalez, a.k.a. Realm Reality. This is The Realness, and we'll be back after this musical break. Now, there's another thing I want you to remember. I don't want to get any messages saying that we are holding our position.
Merv. Merv. Remember? Merv. Merv. <laughs> I feel Merv. like I got to do the pinky like Dr. Evil. Merv. Merv. <laughs> Has anyone seen Merv around? It's the mobile espresso recording, recording vehicle. vehicle. That's what that's what it stands for, right? Mobile espresso, espresso recording vehicle. Is it espresso or espresso? Espresso. Espresso? I don't know. Or espresso. espresso. Is it espresso? I don't know. Espresso. There's Espr- no X. Es- yeah, yeah, espresso. yeah. Espresso. There's no X. So uh, I don't need uh, I don't need any of my friends reminding me I have trouble pronouncing some words. I'm already told every day I have a lisp, which I don't hear myself. Um, but apparently, has anyone ever heard me? Do I have a lisp? No, thank you. Thank you, B. I've, no, you, I have, you, I have you used a, to have a lot of bad habits that you don't have anymore. Your face used to twitch when we play video games. You don't do that anymore. Nah, that was because I had a thing. I told you my internet thing while I was always trying to yawn and get the uh, my ears to pop. So I used to, it, it was a weird crazy. twitch. I actually had a teacher, uh, Mr. Friedman in seventh grade, who thought I had Tourette's syndrome. Tourette's syndrome? Yeah, he thought because of the twitch, because I used to always try to pop my ears. What does that saying? Make me want to yawn and pop my ears. <laughs> So while you gather yourself, uh, let's just remind the people one more time. And uh, we got a lot of different things we need to talk about yes. before the end of the show. But we'll, we'll be, be back, back on the other side of this, uh, after this quick commercial break. break. This coffee is delicious. You know, I don't really <laughs> drink coffee. <laughs> this is what you come out with? This coffee is an empty cup. That's what you come out the gate with on me, man? I mean, <laughs> it is coffee for music, people. And music, music for coffee, coffee people. A good coffee will wake you the fuck up in the morning. Remember you everything? know what else will wake you up in the morning? <laughs> good Morning Bushwick, hosted by us two. Butter and Roach. Roach. I mean, here at First Live. Where is First Live? Bushwick, baby. Take You're killing me, bro. You're killing me right now. Like, <laughs> First Live from? Bushwick. We're from Bushwick. We are Bushwick. Pick up your damn cup and pretend you're drinking the coffee. Here do at First again. Live Bushwick. Do it again. Do it again. You know what else will wake you up in the morning? Good Morning Bushwick. <laughs> good Morning <laughs> Right, right now, are we cutting the promo or are, are, are we live? No. <laughs> Where can people go to find out what's happening in Bushwick? Buttonroach.com and, and firstlive.us. Mmm, this coffee is delicious. Yes, it most certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> so. so my uh, beautiful wife just sent me a very interesting thing from oh. Creepy Fact. Creepy Fact. Creepy Fact on, on uh, Instagram. It says, female Italian serial killer Leonardo Cienciuli, I think it's Cienciuli, uh, disposed of bodies by making them into bars of soap. You know, uh, <laughs> you know it's crazy. Uh, you know, one of our favorite movies we've yeah, watched recently multiple times, um, Tyler Durden. Remember, he was uh, stealing the Fight facts. Club. Fight Club. He was uh, stealing the, uh, the body fat from the uh, liposuctions. Because what, what did they say in the movie? Humans have the best, like, acid buildups for, for, for soap like that. And he was selling them back. Obviously, it's a film, but, um, you know, we you saw how that yeah, worked. You add a dash of sawdust and a few other things. And, and nope, don't say, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it, don't say it live on air. No, we don't want to be, cont- you know, we're not giving anyone ideas. Go watch <laughs> the movie yourself. Got to stop you guys. It's we don't want to. It's a movie, but people take ideas from me. Look, look at how they blamed The Matrix, uh, you know, after Columbine. They said uh, that whole uh, the lobby scene. Remember how they were saying I that scene that. in the first Matrix? You never saw that? The scene in the first Matrix where they go to get Morpheus, they said that the kid, they, they tried to say that scene was so violent and motivated the kids. because When they he's doing the flips it. off the walls. When him and, and Trinity, him and Trinity go Trinity? to the, yeah, when they go, then they go to break Morpheus out from know, where I've the agents have I remember, I remember that being blamed e- extensively. I'll find articles when we get off of it. I'll find articles for you that, that I can find in archives where they blamed that scene a lot after that happened. And it's like, come on, guys. Danny, Danny told me on Friday to watch this movie called The Fisher King. The Fisher King. And Why I, have I heard of I that? I actually saw it over the weekend. And, uh, and the, it was it was a great movie. Someone told me about that recently. I feel like I've heard about that. Was that like nominated for like an Academy or something recently? I feel way back, way back this is Robin Williams and Jeff Bridges, right? And goddamn, bro, that shit made me reflect on on my career, my life, even my hairstyle. I can't, I'm about to chop all this shit off just so I don't look like Jeff Bridges and that shit. Cause he he resembled me. The only thing I I don't do is I don't stumble in the street when I'm drunk. I'm I'm so accustomed to it. I just walk straight. But he he like he met Robin. I'm not gonna tell you the movie. Just watch. No, I have, I have to look it up. I'll check it out. I feel like I've heard th- I've heard I've heard of it. I definitely haven't seen it, but I've heard. All of I did it. was put, I put it in Google and it popped up. So you don't need like Netflix or anything like that. But um, 
I think we need we need to play one more video. Oh uh, right? yeah, man. Let's yeah. get one more video in there, man. How you feeling? You wanna you wanna go with this one right here? I feel because, good. Because that's your that's that's the that's the home. Uh right yeah. Um obviously um we call her homie. She was a guest. Uh we used to work together. Um we actually had her on Bud and Road Show live in studio after we had actually, you know, one of our other good friends, uh younger brother M V O E who we had on there with us. Um we have to get them up on there, man. I have to see if they have any videos up. Uh but this is Gina Guns Friday, man. So uh just let this rock, man. Shout out to Gina Guns. Gina Guns Friday, man. Um, shout out Gina Guns, man. Um, that's someone we do both know personally. Um, it's a funny story, man. I met so many artists working there, man. Where I work, uh, obviously, I met her at my old job, former job that I just left, man. One of the many artists we met working there. One of the few we brought on from there, man. We brought on a couple people that I met, like that artists through there, man. Uh, it, it's crazy the amount of talent that, that I actually met there, the amount of people I met, man. We had, I'm trying to count in my head now how many people we had Another that I worked job with there. Poet. Job poet's job. a man of many talents. Job, man. Now it's uh, just, now he's not even, even, before we had him like music, man. Now he's like doing like legit art in the pieces he does. Like he just got motivated one day and he painted a uh, a picture of Dylan. And he sent I it to that. Lorenzo. He, he sent that. it over to uh, Dylan, uh, Raquel. And, uh, I don't know who has it, either Raquel or Lorenzo. I'm going to guess Raquel. Um... You say he felt motivated, so a picture they posted, man, he just painted it, man. It was crazy, bro, to see, you know, just paint a picture of my nephew. And the way he painted it was so sick, man. And seeing, like, the art he does now, his jacket pieces, his canvas pieces, like, he's done some crazy pieces, man, right now. Like, it, it's insane, man. Like, a, like one of those people who's a true artist, just art in any general form, man. He, this is what he's trying to do, man. Uh, he was one of the people we met through there, man. So, I mean. So, especially if you live in the tri-state area and you're able to travel into Brooklyn, and you want the uh you know you want a spot on on good morning bushwick you want to come on as a guest have some fun with us on the air you can always just go to goodmorningbushwick.com or uh drop us an email goodmorningbushwick at gmail uh either or we'll be you send know, us your stuff to both. Man. uh you know we'll let you know um if you, you know. want your video featured then you have to go through reverb nation 
So go on your Reverb Nation account, search your opportunities, look for hot new music videos. That's uh, that's um, pretty much directly into uh, Good Morning Bushwick. It's the yes. same website. So all the uh, playlists are there. All the videos that were featured on today's show, you can find on goodmorningbushwick.com. Yes. Um, this is, I like the way this show Reach out, out, man. Reach out to us. Yes. Um, we're very uh, eager to hear from you guys, man. Um, once again, we're not just, you know, we would love to have a uh, in in studio guest. So, like like we said, if you're in Brooklyn, trash that area. If you're in the city, any uh in any of the five boroughs, you can make it to Brooklyn in time for a 10 a.m. show, man. Reach out to us, man. Uh, and the setup is about to change, so you yes. know, if you guys do come to uh, perform, you guys are gonna get the big stage. So. Yeah, uh, we're gonna change this. The setup is uh, set to be changed. Um, so you know, it, it's uh you know you guys will uh, enjoy it. I believe uh you know um you know we always love having people in with us. It's always I think having them in studio, different energy uh, than doing a video interview. Even though I think both work out great every time. Um, and you guys need to keep supporting First Live Coffee House. Yes, two nineteen uh, Central Avenue. Yes, uh, you guys want a great coffee uh, during your day, man. Um, stop in here, mm. man. Have any one of these delicious, it's fantastic delicious. Uh, caffeinated beverages. Whether you like yourself a, uh, a mocha or an espresso or a latte or a cappuccino or even just a good old uh, old fashioned black coffee with a couple of sugars, stop in at First Live. But Push I, with. I love that you can find everyone. You can find First Live, you can find Button Roach, you can find hot new music videos at goodmorningbushwick.com. At goodmorningbushwick.com, man. Or you can stop in at a First Live you know, coffee house, First Live Bushwick. Come speak to us. We're here every, every day. Every day, every uh, Monday through Friday. You have a good shot of catching us here in the studio. So um, we got to prepare for tonight. Yes, we do. Um, I, I, I'm prepared for tonight, man. I'm eager, man. You know me, man. I'm always ready to go. Um, there's a lot of shit on World Star that we're gonna. Have there's to a lot of shit about. on World Star. There's a <laughs> lot. There's even a lot going on, man. Even you know a lot just going on in general still in the world, man. This is gonna be a uh, the next coming the the, the few it's weeks, man. I, I, I think uh, this young generation, man. Um, and a lot of these kids, man, are like kids close to to you know voting age. So, um, like we said, man, even, you know, to touch on what we said at the beginning of the show again, like with vote. the, uh, with the vote panels, man, I think this is now, but we'll see, man, really, um, but I think kids need to be very, you know, not just vote just cause someone's giving you everything you want. I think you it's, need to be smarter about your choices. I think there are going to be politicians that come up and know, okay, we have this great, you know, this group of kids and then plus this, we can achieve what we want for pop, you know, tell them, give them what they want. And I don't think people realize that's how, you know, things go. You might not get it. And things might not work out the way you want when they give you everything you want. So I want people to, you know, think about the issues. But still, yes, the most important thing is vote. And more than anything, vote in your local elections. Locally. And if, that's before you march to uh, Washington with your complaints. Oh, march to a hotel. I saw people, man. There was a rally in Chicago, I want to say yesterday or Saturday. I want to say yesterday or Saturday, one or two days. There was a march, obviously, on gun control. And, you know, I saw people, and it made it very find sense to me in my head i saw i was reading the comments you know i love to read comments on social media that's one of my that's you know, thing. one of my favorite things to do read comments on social media that you know to, to pick up gauge social commentary with you know what's going on and people brought up a very good you know question if you want you know change democratically if you want change to legislation are you going to march to your state's you know capital office or are you going to march to you know a hotel run by you know a brand which hotel they ran to? Which one? You know, obviously, where would they go? Trump. Yeah, Trump. Tr Trump Towers in Chicago. They went there, and that's where the protest ended. Like, if you want, like, if you want exact change, wouldn't it have been more? I want to say politically significant to maybe go to your state capital to your legislators. That's just me in my mind. I I get the symbolism. Everybody wants to blame someone, and why not blame the guy who deserves a lot of blame? But if you want exact change, in my mind. I do believe the right place to go would have been your state legislators, the ones who've been lining their pockets from the NRA. Um, that's just me. That's just what I would have thought. Um, I, you know, obviously I'm not saying don't you know protest. The man needs to be protested, but um, let's you know, be a little bit smarter. Let's not do things because we're upset and we're looking for someone to blame. Let's blame the people that deserve the blame. And if there's blame due all around the house like there typically is, let's give it all. But let's not you know try to paint a turd gold and call it you know gold. It's still shit. <laughs> shit painted gold is still shit oh uh, shit so where can the people follow you 
<laughs> you can follow <laughs> me at Mr. <laughs> underscore Zoe Taylor. Uh, that's Mr. Underscore Zoe Taylor. Uh, you don't have to spell out Mr. in its entirety, but one day you're gonna have yeah, to. One and day just, you it's gonna will. be a gag. I'm gonna have to make a you know burner account and just have just so that I don't lose my original name and have Mr. that up. Mr. Underscore. I'm gonna have to put that spell up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spell it all out just because you keep being a dick. <laughs> You can follow me at I'm King Roach. You can follow us both at the Button Roach. At, at Button Roach Show. At not Button at Roach the Show. Button not but the Button Roach Show. At Button Roach Show. No, the. We'll be live tonight, 8 p.m. ish. 8 p.m. ish. And uh, ButtonRoach.com. Yes. And if you're in Bushwick, if you're looking for a fantastic beverage, be sure to stop into First Live, Bushwick, 219 Central Avenue, Bushwick, Brooklyn, 11221. Great coffees, great beverages, great atmosphere, great everything, man. And you guys got, need to got, stop. They, they in got the here. five boroughs now. Yes, yeah, got five boroughs. Got the taps working, and we need to say we, we always bring up coffee. It's not just a coffee house. It is a it's beer. It's, it's beer, beer, liquor. It's liquor. It is a it's whatever you want. It's whatever beverage you want. So whatever fancies you want, a little bourbon in your coffee, want a little spike coffee. <laughs> I'm doing whatever's your thing. There's no judgment here. So uh, this we'll is a uh, this is an entirely judgment free zone. I think we'll be back tomorrow. I don't think so. I think we'll clearly be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. With more Good Morning Bushwick. Same time. Same place. The realness. The realness. Yes. yes. Got you stuck. The, the realness. The realness.